frustrating, you know, you can't run, you can't do anything, but finally got back in it today, and it was, I was excited, I was ready to play, and I got off to a slow start, the team did kind of, but then we started, you know, picking it up, and I was very happy with our team's efforts, Hadley had some great balls through, and I was just able to capitalize, and felt good to score some goals and get back into the swing of things, so. You had a real great opportunity for a fourth goal, and it was just wide left. Um, yeah. You would have been the first person in Purdue history to, to accomplish that. Uh, was it a little frustrating? I mean, do you look back at that and say, oh, man, I could have had it. Well, now that you present that <laughs> stat, yeah, I guess it's a little frustrating. But, I mean, at, we, as a team, and including myself, too, we need to really take advantage of our chances. I think Rob said we had over 30 shots. So we definitely need to put those away and get more consistent with that, myself included. So. How good does it feel to get a, a hat trick at the college level? I mean, you're probably much more unreal than at the high school level or anything like that. Yeah, it feels nice. Uh, I couldn't have done it without my teammates. I had some great balls played through. Uh, it does feel good. So. What happened with the concussion? What exactly happened? Um, it was in training. We were doing a lot of heading and um, winning punts out of the air. And I just went up to win a ball. And I got the ball on one side and someone's head in the back of my head. So just lost vision and, you know, concussion symptoms, but hopefully, I mean, I've been doing well and coming back quickly, so that's good. What led uh, to your transfer to Purdue? Um, I just, you know, I just wasn't happy out with myself. But academics weren't my thing, and I came here first thing, and Rob just made me feel like he wanted me to be here, and the girls made me feel important, like they wanted me to come here, and I love the campus, the new facility, everything, and academically, this was definitely just stood out for me as the place to be. So. What are you studying? Um, landscape architecture. Um, I kind of talk about this is a program that uh, you know, it was going to the NCAA tournament, uh, had a, a great run. Do you want to come back here and kind of be a part of getting pretty back on the right track oh, again? Oh, for sure, for sure. And I definitely think that this is a group of girls that's fully capable of it. We've got to get a little more consistent, keep working really hard, our fitness, get it up just up a little bit. And I think we have a great chance of making it around the postseason and definitely in the next few years getting deeper and deeper into the tournament. Talk about the start. A couple of one goal losses, those are always frustrating, but that's the way this game goes sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Being four and two, that's, that's probably off to a strong start, right? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't here for the Butler game. I wasn't allowed because of the loud noises and stuff. So, but I listened to it and it just sounded like a frustrating one of those games where you just really can't get things started. But the Louisville game was a heartbreaker. It, you know what? I thought we were the better team on the day. It just didn't go our way in the air. So, uh, you learn from those games and hopefully. Hopefully, when it comes to Big Ten time, we don't make the same mistakes. A little rainy day at the Purdue Varsity Soccer Complex today. Um, four nothing victory. Certainly, I have, what we've talked to our team about uh, during the first three weeks of the season is uh, not trying to focus on the result, but certainly on improving in our play, developing as a team. And you know, I, I thought that was a struggle for us today. Uh, you know, we got the result that we're looking for, but certainly not the performance. I think overall, um, you know, we were a bit uh, slow out of the gates. And whether it's a Sunday or third game in five days, whatever it was, I don't think that we brought the necessary energy, the mental focus for our technical ability um, to open up what I, you know, I think was a Evansville side that set up initially not to lose, to find ourselves only a one nothing up at halftime and actually provided them a, a chance or two going in the opposite direction was uh, disappointing. Certainly, uh, you know, we spoke to the team about that and we're happy with the way they came out and were able to score more goals in the second half, but we've got to find a way to be more consistent in front of the net and not rely on uh, 25 to 30 opportunities to uh, convert chances to separate ourselves from teams. Certainly we know that the uh, upcoming non-conference matches and the Big Ten matches will not provide us that many opportunities. So we've got to become more efficient there. Um, overall, I was you know, happy that uh, you know, a large number of our players got the opportunity to get into the game. We got some good performances off the bench. And uh, you know, uh, with Jordan Pollock coming back uh, from you know, her injury and able to uh, get one of our, our first hat tricks in quite some time, you know, that's uh, also uh, reassuring as well. So certainly we feel very, very confident about our ability going forward consistently. It's really, uh, you know, uh, can we add some uh, depth in the midfield and on the back line and get some greater consistency in our ability to close down the ball? And, you know, we're working on that, and certainly I think the next three teams will provide us the opportunity to really test ourselves prior to going into the Big Ten season. So if you get the opportunity, 7 o'clock next Friday night, uh, Wisconsin-Milwaukee, please come out and support the team. Thank you.